Hey, I'm Rosie. I'm the Chief Customer Officer here at Pieces for Developers. And today I want to show you my magic moment with live context available now in the Pieces Copilot. So my role doesn't really involve a lot of development. I do a lot more of like <laughs> herding cats, making sure that our users are getting what they need, the type of support that they're looking for, the correct documentation. I do a lot of user interviews to get feedback that informs our roadmap. So just a lot of of moving parts to handle our customer relations. But also because we're a startup and we're really lean, I just do also anything that needs to be done. That's just what a startup world is. So my day to day can be a little chaotic. I've usually got a lot of different things going on. And I do find that the co-pilot can usually stick with me as I tab through my millions of windows and tabs, which is really helpful to keep me on track. But let's talk about what I'm doing today. So today uh, we're releasing this, the live context. So a little bit of a meta conversation, but I want to show you how I would go about writing a release note using the Pieces Copilot. We're in Pieces right now, and uh, I just got an open uh, Copilot chat here, and you can see that live context is on. And I did clear out my work stream context um, before we started this video, so it doesn't really have any context at the moment. I'm also going to go into our new focus mode. Um, which is pretty cool, I must say. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go look at the GitHub milestone. This is the milestone that covers everything we're going to do for the release today. So it looks like there's several issues that are closed. That looks great. I'm also going to go take a look in our GTAT here. This is our testing channel for the Pieces for Developers desktop app. Okay, so I can see that Mac is asking people to work on the release note check out the features and here's some GitHub issues. And let's see, another conversation here. It looks like things are looking good for our Windows and Linux users, also Mac. This is great. Okay, cool. So it sounds like we're getting ready to go. So I'm gonna say what is in today's release for the pieces desktop. Oops, got a typo there. Should probably still work, we'll find out. Cool. Awesome. So that's great. Looks like everything's closed, looking good to go. And you can see at the top, this is another kind of meta situation going on because you can see that uh, GPT-40 is part of this release and I'm currently using GPT-40 and it is, a, it is a pretty cool model. I'm really excited for our users to try it. Okay. Um, write me a release note based off of this. Man, I am terrible at typing. <laughs> So just reading through this, this doesn't really look like everything. So what I'm going to do is go back to the GitHub issues and just let it be on the screen for another couple of seconds. Um, the Workstream Pattern Engine is obviously taking a look at what you're doing. So sometimes it helps to um, show it again, and then it can capture some additional context and answer your questions a little better. So, all right, it's had a second, so let's go try it again. Okay, that doesn't seem like all of it. Can you include all of the closed issues from 12.2.2 in that release note? And you'll notice I went back and looked at the uh, GitHub issues again because give it another time. Sometimes you can enhance the context a little bit by um, showing it to it again. <laughs> Great, okay, this looks pretty good. Nice. Okay. Model support, full screen focus mode, which we're in right now. The work stream pattern engine that runs the live context. Great. Couple of enhancements, couple of bug fixes. Nice. Okay. This looks like really good. Now I want to know, are we ready to go with this release? Okay. It appears that the team is in the final stages of preparing for the release. Nice. Um, cool. Nathan said we're good on Windows and Linux. Mac says we're good on uh, Windows and Mac. Um, we did want Mark to look at a couple of things. So you can see this is coming from that conversation in the Gchat that we had. But that's great. It sounds like we need a couple more things here. Um, but I think we're in pretty good shape. So yeah, this is, uh, this is how I use the Pieces Copilot. It helps me connect the dots through everything that I'm doing. I'm in Chrome, you looking at GitHub or, you know, whatever else in my emails, research, whatever. I'm in Gchat all day long trying to connect with all the different colleagues and see what they're up to. And I'm talking to the co-pilot to tie it all together. So this is, uh, this is what I do. This is my magic moment with the pieces uh, co-pilot using live context. And I really can't wait for you all to try it too.